Yes, a very good morning to you and welcome back to Daybreak. My name is Uli Saburu, Apa EV. Uh, everything is looking good and uh, we're ready to jump into the conversation. Every Tuesday we try to delve into some societal matters, questions, debate, discourse, call it what you may. A little bit of a breather, kidogo, a lafu to engage into the, the crux of the matter. Ladies first, non -sizi. Yes. Is here? Yes. Uko sawa? Niko salama. Eh, yes. Leo itabidi tutete. Eh. Leo nitabidi niwatete. Itabidi. Mtetezi <laughs> wenu. I am I am enlisting you early. <laughs> eh, ukue front line. Tutete. No problem. On Skype we have DNG. Good morning to you, Bob Willis. Good morning, uko vipi? Niko chonjo sab kabisa niko salama. Leo ukiona nimedunga t-shirt. Eh. Niko hasili yako. Eh. Niko tumekuja kubeba na kupeperusha bendera ya Boy Child. Bendera ye! Kupeperusha yu. We also have shut up, boy. Yeah, man. You let me dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig. Formation do yu. You go item. You better know. You go fresh. Yeah, man. Ready for the team. Masha the players. <laughs> and we have CJ. <laughs> good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Right. Yeah, you're good, eh? <laughs> yes, I'm good. <laughs> Why I know are you asking like you're doubting? Uh, you no. no, CJ has had no. a very long weekend. <laughs> oh. and, uh, his team, I don't know what's happening, but uh, it's okay. Yote chini ya mwamba. Look, man, we, we, we've been we've been there before. Mm -hmm. Came up again, mm -hmm. so we will. So it's just a matter of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, today we're talking about a very interesting uh, topic. As always, every week it's interesting. Uh, it's all about the boy child. Come on, we're going to boy child. We're going to talk boy. So I expect <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, ma. <laughs> That's today. <laughs> <laughs> and today he'll be very vocal. And uh, basically, we're just asking: Do you think the boy child is an endangered species? Do you think the boy child is an endangered species? We are just almost a month after Valentine's. We talked about all a lot of things. We've talked about here how um, you know the. The men can't open up etc but i want to go to the root of it and i think it's uh, basically the upbringing mm -hmm. um so we'll start with you shata Leo, okay. because you know you're a matter close to your heart yeah, why do you think the boy child is endangered first of all kabla na tuende hapo mm. inafaa kuwa rallying call ya every boy child mm -hmm. ukiamka asubuhi mm -hmm. unajiangalia kwa kio unajiambia mimi ni boy child mm -hmm. i am an endangered speech <laughs> I need to operate like that. <laughs> you see negative affirmation. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think you're supposed to be telling yourself good things. You know, you have to protect and you have negative affirmation. You know, that is why we are endangered. Because when we protect ourselves, mm -hmm. you say we are, is a negative affirmation. You need to understand who you are for you to protect yourself. Why are you endangered? Because society, I can't even be kidding by the way, you call it too while. A society at some point to go to a point where it made a boy child a criminal mm. and at a girl child that like you grow and you don't need a man there are careless statements that were going around that you don't need a man you can be who you are it was not put in context yes so but, but by that is at a scientist it will get to a point where what i want to do kwa labs do you remember mm. yani rendering a man useless <laughs> and these things were being thrown up everywhere everywhere it get go to a point where people thought actually we can get rid of a man. Na society can act at that. Even laws that are put in place are laws that do not protect the boy child. Mm -hmm. You get everything actually, most everything right now is against the boy child. For example, uh, at a Maraga, former CJ Aliongeleaga, if two underage kids were to go get involved in maybe a, a relationship and they went to court, the boy would, would be sentenced and taken to jail. You get, and he's underage, just like the girl child. Meaning society has crafted ways to criminalize a boy child day in, day out, and no one has spoken about it. And the man I'm because I see, I see it happening, and it affects me daily. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And since you... <laughs> At one point, you feel. You feel. Because you say you affect you, and it's personal. Pole sana. Pole sana. But I think life in general is hard for everybody okay it is i mean it's not easy whether you're a man whether you're a woman but the um i feel like the minute we started uh vocalizing 
girl child issues more. Somewhere along the way, the boy child was forgotten, which is true. So you are, we are here, we're empowering the girl, you can do this, you can do, because you know, for the longest time, the girl child was the most <coughs> disadvantaged, you know? Then in the process, we forgot the boy, and also we forgot how to train this boy to deal with this girl that we are really, really empowering. So. Mm. I don't, I mean, everybody is an endangered species. It is, as long as you're living, the minute you wake up and start breathing, you're endangered. <laughs> but we forgot the boy child along the way. Mashida ziko kila mahali kwa wana wake na kwa wana ume. Yeah. Uh, DNG. Willis. Yes, sir. Do you think that, uh, as, as Shata is saying, that it's, it's harder for the boy child in 2021? I think it's been hard for us since uh, Mandeleo ya wanawake. <laughs> that is what happened. You know, in the 90s, Bana, there was this movement that just, as Nonsinzia said, it gave women strength, it gave women power, it championed for their progression. And what happened is that we over-empowered the culture because, you know, she had been historically disempowered. And what we ended up doing is, is forgetting about this boy child. So the boy child today is disenfranchised. So we have you know, totally empowered women who are strong, who are focal, who are active, who are going for their goals, who are smashing their deliverables. On the flip side, we have the guy who is hustling, who is being given that will battle. You understand? Mm. Sad, sad place that we're in today. Mm -hmm. All right, and CJ, what do you think about the, 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 uh, the general <laughs> discourse so far? <laughs> Uh, DNG, the Mandeleo Yonawake was more in the 80s than in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our, our troubles go way back. <laughs> yeah, because um, if, if you remember the famous, to some people infamous, Beijing conference was 1985, mm. where ah. a lot of things then came out from. That is way back in 1985. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and of course, at that particular point, Mandeleo Yonawake was mostly used as a political tool. Right. Uh, because there were more women voters, it was easier to marshal the women voters, it was easier to move them. I mean, even in marketing, you'd easily target the women more. It's mm. easier to sell to women than to sell to men. Um, if right. you want to sell, yes, if you want to sell anything, uh, and out of your 10, seven are men, the chances of selling, unless you're doing something with toys and something, <laughs> the chances of selling or are very low. So it's, it's easier <laughs> to mobilize women. So uh, I think that there was also a political angle to it, uh, where they were taking advantage, that particular point, Moi was also trying to take advantage um, of mobilizing the women. So the intention may not have been absolutely about the empowerment, but then the thing picked a life of its own. Yet again, the flip side to it, Willis, is mm -hmm. when we talk about the empowerment of the girl child, what exactly did we empower? These women now, they have money, they have jobs, but most of them are socially broken. They can't keep relationships. They're always frustrated. <laughs> we have higher <laughs> rates right now. You know, um, there are probably more single mothers today there are probably more people who have been in one or two, three relationships. There are probably more women today who have three or four different baby daddies today because they couldn't stay in one relationship. So what exactly did we empower? We only empowered them academically and economically. Then there's a front that was not. Like we forgot. Yeah. Um, so many things you can pick up from, from there, but because you jumped fast. Yeah, he said, said, money will never leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> money and your career will never leave you alone. Well, you could get fired. <laughs> you get broke. But you could, know. like Nigeria, burn down the whole Ministry of Finance. <laughs> Everything is possible. Yeah. Um, so, is it then, because I've seen this discussion uh, in different places, and, and first of all, let me just remind the viewers that this is our question of the day. In case you want to join into the, into the conversation, do you think the boy child is endangered? Is an endangered species? There it is. Do you think the boy child is an, an, is the boy child an endangered species? You can SMS us on 22422. You can use the hashtag Daybreak. Make sure to also tag at Citizen TV Kenya. We're going to sample uh, some of your comments that will help us in the discussion as well. So there it is, SMS 22422, and use the hashtag Daybreak. I've seen it nonsense. People are saying that, yeah. um, as CJ said, that the, bo uh, the girl child was empowered. Mm. Then the boy child became lazy. Do you think that's true? Mm. 
Wow, that's no. I mean, I, I think. That? No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying I've, I've <laughs> okay. seen it in, oh. in discussions. Oh. You didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. I think laziness is, you know, it's a character thing. You know, it's it's because there are women who are lazy. There are mm. women who depend on handouts and whatever to live. So I think laziness is neither here or there. It's the the men who are really, really, really hardworking, and you know, they go out there, they they do whatever they do to provide for their families. So I I, I don't think so. I don't think it it it, it um it made the boy child lazy. Laziness is. It's an it's an it's a it's, a, it's personal. Yeah. It's personal. The people who are just there, I mean, they just don't they don't have motivation, nothing. Yeah, so it's just water. Yeah, they, they just leave like because we've woken up. All right, the angel to ask you a con controversial question: Is it hard to be a man? To, in today's age, it's extremely difficult, man. As Shatter Boy said in the beginning, as a guy, you just from when you are born, everything is against you. Any the odds are against you. You know, like how uh, in, in America, as a black person, you know, it's a systemic racism problem. So in Kenya, it's the same. But now from a, from a gender perspective. So what's happening is that the girl child has so many opportunities. And that's why they are winning, man. They are our bosses. They are our clients. They are making that chums, as you have rightfully said, uh, or, or Celia has rightfully said, uh, you know, there's a social aspect missing. That's why you find these very rich women. They they have gone through divorce. One, two, three baby daddies. They're in the bar. Some of them are functional alcoholics. They may have money, but they are not at peace. So someone only on the flip side, that money is not there. So it's not a problem. They cannot see eye to eye. They cannot engage. You know, it's like uh, you're trying to to, to date intra classes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's 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 absolutely impossible. And then when you see the kind of solutions that government and leadership are coming up with, things like a wheelbarrow, you know, which <laughs> in you know, you cannot compare that kind of empowerment, of course, which is targeted predominantly at the boy child, the hustler, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the kind of empowerment that the girl child has been given. Girl child have been given scholarships. Uh, opportunities to do internships. We chali leo jaribu uingi internship pali. Ata internship ni no mana na ilipiwi. You know. And we just have to say as a caveat before there are people who I know are keyboard warriors jump on the thing. We are not saying it is bad for the girl child to be empowered. We are just saying ata boy chali pia apeo na fasi yake. So you get your chungs, boo boo. Get your money, baby girl. Baby girl for life. It's okay. Ni sawa. Sawa. Musi tu kujie. Mbia mkita kuja pia ni sawa. Atuko, atuwa gopi. Anyway. Ngileka zo gotu mazozana. It's okay. Yeah, ma. Yeah. But Shata, yes. the same thing the NGA said, and you say that the boy child has come from disadvantage. One of the things that you've also said so many times on this show is upbringing. CJ has mentioned the fact mm. about uh, single parenthood. Do you think that is, does it have a sort of effect on, on the upbringing of a boy child if you're a single parent and you're bringing up a boy a single female parent that is before when they are up to the ngm sm yes she is in it's not come up in the system the government the, the government uh, uh, resolution ideologies you get for example e affirmative action right yeah come mm -hmm. yeah, maybe go on the campus and you know while you want to talk areas in musical disadvantaged on a particular day you can see the dog so my question is Ukuwa kunanga vijana, hiyo mm. area. Sikuna vijana pia kwa disadvantaged. Mm. Mbona grade yao hiko same na hiyo. Unaelewa? Mm. Kuna vitu zinawekwa at the expense of a boy child. Unaelewa? And people will, know, will think, ah, madame muko enyewe wako disadvantaged. Pia kijana kwa disadvantaged uko. But no one is talking about him. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> back to me, <the> studio. <laughs> Unajua, hiyo kitu mesema bringing, yeah, unapata mostly unalele una single parent. Most of the dads are not around because one, one reason or the, or the other. Mostly wengine mtu waliko tu irresponsible. Hama mungine alishindwa kukop up na demands zenye anapatiwa. Maybe ya nado. Atujaona effect bado. The effect is coming. It will get to a point in this country where having a male boss will be a problem. Because people will be used to authority coming from one side. Unaget kama mtoi ume grow home authority comes from mom alone because dad is not there ama dad is there and he has no authority over you unaelewa you get to an office and a man wants to give you uh, to, to to have authority over you you will not listen to this man unaelewa 
there will come a time like that. But since when it comes to a bring, what do we do? Even your tuko. To share fika points that girl Sisi child ame ame. Nini na na na. Girl child, girl child na juu ane zale mtoi bila chali. Na actually, it, ni ili kuwa ni fashion that uh, empowered girl child atageti get mtoi na amle peke yake. There kuna instance kama people have chose like see what in this circumstance ya chali ali ondoke or anything. At, I don't want a man in my life. I just wanted his kid. So you've seen such cases. Mm. We've had at kwa piawa. We've had people come and say that. Mm. You know get. So, Happy Hour is a show, by the way, not when we went out. <laughs> it's, a show. it's a show on Hot 96. Get, <laughs> yeah. ni, ni society has been shown that it's a girl child. I don't know if a girl child has been shown that it's a girl child. Why would you let someone have authority over you, yet you can do everything? You see? But by so doing, like in a relationship, when your boyfriend and girlfriend and a, ch a child comes on board, it is no longer a boy-girl thing now. Because mm -hmm. there are children that need to have both authorities around. But no one is saying that. You know, there is what the mother can give that the father cannot. And there is what the father can give that the mother cannot give, you see. But upper Kenya to be you. Speaking up on that, CJ, what is the danger? And uh, again, if people have found themselves in that situation, it's, it's okay, you know. And if you're responsible as a, if you're a deadbeat daddy, go home today. Let it be. Let, if you're looking for a sign, let today be a sign. Go back and take care of your child. Um, but... Uh, what is the danger of, of the absence of a father figure? Okay, so let me do what Shatter did. So before I get to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, before you come back to <laughs> Yeah, um, to, be, to be fair as oh. well, uh, the affirmative action, mostly targeting those marginalized communities, I think mostly it was also because the girl child would easily be traded for marriage. Mm. So it was also to and encourage FGM. the yeah. parents, yeah. like, take your kids to school. Because some of the fathers and families were looking at their girls as investments. Mm. So I think it was also to encourage them, like, okay, take your girl to school. Of course, that came with its own issues as well. Um, uh, but when you talk about what is uh, uh, the effect of the absence of a father, the first thing that the kid then lacks is a sense of identity is a sense of identity. Mm. Um, you know, we talk about women say they can live, they can raise children without the fathers of those children. But we had a, a trending story the other day of somebody wanting the father to claim the child, just to tell you how <laughs> much of a facade hey. that thing is. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is just to show you how much of a facade right. that thing is. Right. Uh, the deep inside. Well, it's, I know that even even where you know people have had disagreements, like I'll pay you so that you sire my child, uh, then we just part ways. You'll still find somewhere along the line they still want this kid to know their father. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that is just a defense mechanism of somebody who thinks I can't get that, so let me act like I don't want it. They're not sure that they will get it. It's managing expectations. But if you were to ask them really, they would want the man to be there. But the first thing that the child lacks is their identity. Then they never get to know their sense of esteem because then they keep on wondering, who am I? Um, your father is your root, you know. Your father is your root, it's your lineage. That thing made Obama come all the way to Kenya trying to find out who is he. You want to find out who you are, that's your root. And you cannot define yourself from where you are now. Anytime you're trying to find yourself, you've got to go back. You see, life is understood backwards. So if there is no father, this child will struggle with a sense of identity. Then they will struggle with what shall I say, with the sense of authority. How do you deal with authority? because generally a father is supposed to be the figure of government. That doesn't mean he needs to be a dictator, but that's the person who should bring in some sense of firmness, some sense of order, uh, some sense of purpose uh, into the children that they have. Anytime women have to discipline their children, they're overwhelmed. And so they will either go overboard, they'll be too soft or too hard. It is very easy for a mother to hurt a child uh, unless the father is deranged because he's a bit more balanced to handle discipline issues. For a mother, she will either over-mother the child <laughs> or when the pressure is too much, she will release all this pressure on the child. That's true even for female bosses. They're either too soft 
or too hard. Uh, they generally are not in the middle. They get emotionally involved in everything that they are doing. I like how nonsense is looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like they, 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 will, they will have the issue with identity. They'll have the <coughs> issue with authority. If it is a girl, then she will most probably struggle again with affection. She may generally, may generally begin to look for a father in her lover. If it is a boy, he will struggle with how to become a man in somebody else's life because he doesn't have the model, he doesn't have the pattern. Mm -hmm. He doesn't yeah. have the pattern or model. So in such a situation then, um, when Tumajipata Apo, as, as Shada said, Sasa, wako Apo. Apo ni wako. Apo, wamejipata kwa single ni nilo, already dunia ndo iyo, tuko na wheelbarrow, kazi kwa vijana, hatu songi mbele. DNG, what do you think, if somebody's watching today and they're in such a situation, Right, boy child sayena and angalia before you even get the feedback. What do you think that can be done? You're already at a disadvantage, so what do you do? You know, for me, this story is hitting home straight because also you can put me in that category. But I met my father in my adulthood and mm -hmm. I met him once, <laughs> wow, and that was the last time I saw him. But you know what, we cannot blame our parents eh? because to uh, me, I'm a parent. And sometimes, you, you know, when you're growing up, una, una lalamika, una kasmze, why is my dad not here, nini? But then when you go through relationships, you sometimes understand, oh, labda le, waliko sana, labda kuliko msemoja mtiaji, nini? <laughs> In fact, for me, I hold no grudges. Yani, Elisha, na, you know, there's healing. So now, how do we deal with that? And, and even before how to deal with it, you, right. We also have to acknowledge that there are some consequences. You know, things like uh, lack of authority, as has been said today, they, they lead to bad behavior. That means that you do not have any form of guidance. So you, you, you're trying to be a man. And, and you, you know, how do you learn to be a man through your peers, through the older boys in society? So you emulate and you ape what they're doing. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes not the right thing. So those are the habits you pick up. And later on, you know, you have to struggle to let go of this kind of, of habits that you train your mind. So today we just need to realize that we're on our own. Once we realize that nobody's coming to save us, not the government, not our leaders, nobody, then that means that we have to take that cross and carry it. So what I'd suggest today is that we need to be the men that we needed when we were growing up. That's not the right. kind of men that we need to be today. We need to create what we call like a boy club, national, where if you find a guy who needs some mentorship, some advice, some guidance, some help, help them. Sometimes it doesn't cost you anything, man. It's just to point somebody in the right direction. Like for us in media, you know, it's somebody who wants their song played. What does it cost you to connect that person to a producer of a show or to a DJ to get their song played? An artist who's struggling, what does it cost you to connect them to an event manager or promoter? Absolutely nothing. So we need to be better men. Instead of pointing fingers from today and sport, let's be proactive. Let's have more of these forums, even physical, even across the country in different counties. Let's do town homes, just for dudes, man. And we talk about Biashara, the grind, how we can connect, how we can network, how we can, you know, support each other's business. Let's look at a talent pool, who can do what. And we employ each other. We, we, we make each other suppliers of goods and services. And that means we progress. All right. That's... that's some deep stuff. I'm a funga show, Dean. I'm a funga show. Sunday, some feedback. Hey, kuna moja hapo na wana nirefu. All right, let's take a look at some of the feedback there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Mix. Three, two, one, mix. <laughs> anyway, it's loading. There it is. It's going to take some time. It's There it goes. As slow as the government. Okay. Uh, that is... Barnabas Mweu, Niweke 24. Barnabas Mweu wanasema, yes, the boy child is endangered. The boy child is torn between culture and civilization. It's hard to grow in a society that tells you you're equal to your sister, but again says ladies first in the same, in some certain situations. All right, very interesting. Um, here comes another story, but surely we will get there. <laughs> Uh, this is pastor. I hope PST should be pastor, right? <laughs> All right, Pastor Waroi. It is true. Although the girl child empowerment programs were well intended due to the vulnerability of the girl, they lacked a balance, which is what needs to be brought in now. 
mentorship and empowerment must now be done when the boys are very young. It's sort of what they call the formative years. Kwenambele. Once again, you're here in a koja. Slowly but surely. <laughs> this is um, hmm, Moto Beatbox says this. Our young men aren't socially educated on the fundamental laws of nurturing and understanding the masculine energy. We have to portray masculinity by being sexually powerful, by control of our urges, so to activate and nurture the masculine power. Men should stop giving up their life force anyhow, other than procreation. Otherwise, the feminine energy is only challenging the masculine energy. I think this is the concept where, uh, you know, they say when you're having sex with somebody, soul ties, exchange mm -hmm. of energies, yeah. etc. I guess that's what he's trying to say um, as well. We are kwamba manaume kazi tuni. Uh, it's money. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, function at the junction. Uh, Shutter Boy, you mentioned something that I want to go back to because uh, DNG said we need to be the men, we needed to be growing up. But you mentioned something that when it comes to employment, there's sort of a balance. Yesterday, I saw very interesting quotes. Many people said this. Um, they said, instead of Organizations, instead of wishing mm -hmm. your women happy International Women's Day, how about you give us equal pay, right? That's what the women were saying yesterday. And what do you think, in, from where you sit, you think there's a disparity in terms of employment? DNG has also mentioned it, kwa intern, tunaranga ma girl child sana sana, instead of ma, ma boy child, wo no naji, in the employment sector? Well... I think because you're a boy or when you present. Maybe in other industries that is happening, that is CGE. Maybe in the art industry, you would pay a male artist more than, than, than a female, female DJ. It, it, it happens. DJ, it happens. It happens. Yeah, no, since you will tell us the experience, <laughs> she, she's a publicist. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, I want to feel them are just struggle sana to go your light. Yani it's mis, mis, misgivings. They will think because this is Uchalia Mr. Gulsana, they will want to pay more, perform. It doesn't happen, which may be to buy. But at a before on the pay, do you know the biggest problem we have right now mm -hmm. is that we don't know who we are. There's a day to Kyoko 10, I, to, I said, the worst thing you can ever do to someone is to steal their identity. You rob them of their identity and wake up. They won't know who they are. They will go grabbing everything around them, trying to know who they are. You see, Africa, especially Kenya, because this is the, we, we, Kenya absorbs every culture that comes our way. Mm. When the Nigerians come here, we absorb Afrobeat, South you Africa, when Congolese come here, when Congolese South Africa come here, you see. <laughs> But so do Chinese, we, we take their money. Exactly. We Why do is he that? not mentioning Jamaican? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Jamaicans get here. No. Afri <laughs> Jamaica, <laughs> Jamaica is African news yeah, from Mau Mau. Yes. Before. Be no, he mentioned Nigeria. <laughs> no, even in terms of music, reggae is so huge. Reggae is yes. huge. That's uh, right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just teasing him. <laughs> oh. He's protecting <laughs> himself. I'm <laughs> jammed <laughs> But that is it. We, we, absorb, we absorb external culture so much mm. that we don't know our culture. You see, there is one thing with enlightening me to the world and Europeanizing me. Uh -huh. You see, those are two different things. Uh -huh. In Kenya, we need to realize that we are being Europeanized or Westernized, mm. forgetting who we are. We need to teach our children who we are as Kenyans. What is our culture? How do things work? What can we borrow? You see, when, when the colonizer came, he criminalized your culture, you see. And it is upon the people in power to acknowledge that your culture was criminalized and criminalize it, you see, for you to be able to teach it to children so that when they grow, they have a, a sense of identity. Young people you see today are Africans by the virtue of being in this continent. But their culture and their brains, ni wazungu. You get, because they will go to TikTok, they will go to all these social media platforms and get get the culture over there and become those people. We need to tell our people who we are. We need, first of all, to know there are good things about our culture and bad things. Yeah. There are bad things that we need to drop and pick the good ones and impact them on these children so that when they grow, that is the biggest challenge.
challenge we have. If we, we do those uh, town halls uh, meetings, DMG has said, <laughs> yes. my friend tutapigwa, tutavurugwa kwa mtandao, because when you try to do something good, because vile CJ alisema tukianza, this thing was not by mistake, this was a plan. Why? The politicians wanted to harness the female votes. You see, and it is working for them. So the moment you start telling the boy child you need to be like this, now you are attacking people. You know that? You are attacking a, a voter base, and they will fight you for it. You need to be alive to that fact, that anything you want to do right now to change a boy child's mentality or the society's mentality, you are attacking someone else. Because someone is harvesting from, what, from this, what is happening. <laughs> you get? And the moment you try to change it, mm. and they will fight you for it. Get? So it needs to, people to be sober. And I keep saying, even in our schools, culture must be a lesson. It needs to be taught. Culture. For us to understand who we are. Yeah. So it's all an problem. You are making some points. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, when, when, when uh, Shetan was talking about culture and knowing your culture, and, and, and I like the fact that he mentioned that some things are good and some things some are, are bad. bad. Because there are some things that I've really, really, really struggled with. And I'm like, what the hell is this? You know? So it's good and it's good to learn because it's good to know your identity, where you came from. And. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it's very advisable, but again, I think we need to do it with caution because there are some things that were done in our culture that you look at them and you're like, no, these ones, to 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 Kiendanga. Let's talk about the uh, equal. Yes, because uh, the, the, every time we host even female DJs, uh, when I ask them, how has it been in the industry, they say, hey, they always sigh, you can see in their face. Well, now we're empowered and we are here well. we are out there we are going we are working you know mm. you're going all out and this is where i go back and say the challenges of a woman are very different for example for the artist um let's give an example with maybe shata you're an artist shata kujapa yeah ako hivi ata perform no, even now, the way we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to come here 30 minutes before because I have to, you know, and have to look, you yeah, know, and all. Know. And you see, society doesn't put those pressure on men. Aki, I've seen situations where a man comes two, okay, not two minutes, the performance, but a few minutes, goes on stage, does a killer performance. For a woman, it's a whole production. Even the videos and everything. And also, we've been trying to... Um, remove this idea of women looking a certain way. This is, you know, so you will go, you'll perform. The backlash that will come with that, it is so much. And considering you've not even been paid equally to your male counterparts, and you put your... And your, this is regardless of uh, your... Whether you're big or not, you could be, me and Shata could be having the same, you know, the same music, we're on rotation, the same. But when it's going to negotiation, it's... <laughs> It's a, an uphill task. I was watching um, just Ivy's stories on money and how uh, there were uh, women weak negotiators or, you know, then I was seeing comments of employers who asked you, so why you do you need much money? And you will be married at the end of it all. And you have a husband. I'm like, hey. So for some, marriage is an occupation. Exactly. I'm like, pull up. <laughs> you know, so pull up. it's, um, it's yeah, we are not yet there as much as we are being empowered and all that. And that's why we are talking about women to know your value and the value that you bring to the table. If I can equally deliver what Shata and Willis are delivering, why should, not, should I not be? So there's a disparity in that. There is a disparity. But and so and, and what also, about uh, what about when it comes to like sometimes even yeah. hiring for certain jobs? There's a time when CJ mentioned the fact that um, women in terms take of, yeah, yeah women take uh, jobs that men would be waiting in the sidelines, mm. you know, to before they embrace uh, such a so what what do you think isn't there a flip side to what Nancy has said on the in the men's on the men's side? Well, generally, you know, uh, girls are raised with a sense of responsibility from very early. Um, boys will be waking up and most probably they'll go out and play because the parents don't know how to keep the boys in the house. You know there's this saying, mm. boys will always be, be boys. boys yeah. So you don't want to keep that energy in the house. So you prefer, let them go out and play. Then you probably call them when you need them or something. So these boys are actually growing with other boys. The girl wakes up and she knows when you wake up, make your bed, uh, make sure you clean the room, you do this. So there's a very structured tea for the family. <laughs> mentorship. Yeah. The sense of responsibility is put in her early, not in the boys. 
That's why even when people have cases of joblessness, you most probably will find guys hanging out by the street. It will be boys who are sitting at the That's base. True. Even if the girls are jobless, uh, they'll probably be Keeping occupied in the house. Yeah. So you won't find them in those groups over there because there's a sense that they have of responsibility. Sometimes that works against them. Sometimes, because when she goes into this marketplace, mm. because she thinks of the sense of responsibility, she will feel like, let me take this, Whatever comes, then yeah. stay without. Sometimes she's thinking of her mother, a sibling mm. or something. So she feels like, let me earn this 15,000 per month because I want to support on the other side. For the guy, you know, he has had all these dreams. When they sit out of there, he's got all these dreams of the kind of life he wants to live in it. But nobody has nurtured that boy over things like responsibilities. Um, so he's growing up with this mirage as well. And then he feels, if I have money, I'll be able to do one, two, three. He has not even learned the basics of how to use the basic resources like time, networks, the little money that he has. So if you bring him in and tell him, I want to pay you 15000 he feels that's not enough because he has never known that you can actually use that 15,000. So sometimes, again, the pressure is not really from the what you would call the society. It's how the woman is built, right. you know, this sense of responsibility that she has. Like, why should I stay home? Maybe my 15,000 will help medicate my mom. Mm. Just be buying medicine. And she will, she will <laughs> carry that even into marriage. This is where you have issues in marriage of my wife's money goes to her parents and mine. There's that sense of responsibility that was drilled. Part of what we need to do with the young men as well is to begin to teach them responsibility, like work for your pocket money. Do this, then I'll pay you this. The, don't just be giving. That's, that's, that's a, a whole thing with single mothers as well that I would love to address. You know, sometimes they want to give the boys everything that they feel the boy needs just to prove a point to the uh, absent dad or something. Teach them how to work to earn their money. Teach them how to run their resources so that when they become adults, uh, they can actually manage and multiply the much that they receive. Mm -hmm. All right, we have some... Mm -hmm. uh, more feedback here before we jump to uh, DNG. Uh, Duana, do I mean, 56, shouting about gender equality once a year doesn't end the patriarchal and misogynic stereotypes. We must live every day as Women's Day. Only then will there be actual practical equality in the world. Wagwan. <laughs> Victor underscore Gongo 93. The world is losing boys and men every day. Too much expectation from the hashtag boy child KE. Yet, no one pays attention to how they grow. Everything has been channeled to the girl child. This trend is killing the population of men. Soon, it will be a requirement to marry, <laughs> to marry two or more women. Right, man. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. To live a day in China is good to say that I can do. Fizz Morris says the boy child is not a victim of historical injustices and has always enjoyed the fruits of patriarchy. It, it's well settled that forever it's a man's world and that already and that already puts the boy child ahead. To me, I think the boy child is just asleep. Should be awoken. It's patriarchal. I think this is the last one, or you'll tell me if there's another one. But Abbas Moe says the boy child is suffering from identity crisis, which for me is the main recipe for stress and depression. The boy child is not sure whether to be a traditional male alpha or a modern man who cooks and changes nappies. Ladies, change the narrative, please. <laughs> what is wrong with changing nappies? Nothing at all. Yeah. You, have a lot of my you can still be traditional and a change nappies. A lot of nappies. my nephews use uh, nappies and uh, golden shower notwithstanding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, all, it's all good. DNG before Shata Jibu, uh, uh, as you can see from the comments, it's mixed. It's a mixed pile, right? Because there's someone saying that uh, the society is sti it's still a man's world. And then there's someone saying that peer men to go confused. Do we be traditional, hunter, gatherer, uh, my way or the highway, or do I be cook in the kitchen, change nappies? Well, how, how do you think we can find a balance? I like, I like what uh, one of the viewers said, that uh, 
the boy child is asleep and the boy child needs to be, you know, woken up. Yeah. For me, that's why I do this initiative called House We Are. It's mm -hmm. pretty much just about mind change. And that's what we're doing on this show right now. You know, having conversations that trigger people to think. Think about why am I in this position where I don't have a job? Why am I in this position where I cannot afford to pay rent? You know, my pals are and they're laying in life. But for me, I'm still struggling. Instead of, you know, portioning blame to whatever it may be, I think we also need to, to, to you know, talk about what does it mean to hustle? What does it mean to, to really grind? And that's the example that has been given that, you know, women are, are, are you know, financially uh, di disciplined. Like when they make the little they make, they plow it back, they say no, they... Yeah, man. Everywhere. Na chani leo, akipat, akia 10 Gs, 20 Gs, niku, niku buy... <laughs> niku tafuta mayengs. Mayengs, kiroro, niku buy njumu, niku... Look, kwanza look Willis. Look, msia na invest do yote, ako, ako na zero kwa kwa olenje, lakini look, ju chini ya mengaraka 20 Gs. You know what I mean? You ni mjinga. So if we do not have these conversations with our peers, because this is not about historical challenges anymore, it is about sai. You know, what wanna spend do, wanna chop do yote, kesho wanna do, kesho wanna lia kwenye TV ati wasaidive. Yo ni ujinga, tuache yo tabia mbaya, yo ni bad manners, and we need to be a voice of reason amongst our peers, bana. Yes. Because it is cultural, and also Shada Boy talked about that, that at easy to Nigori, let us not be afraid to disrupt any voter basket. We all know that poverty is a tool of control. We must disrupt it in the minds of these people so that they no longer are just sitting in, in, in the estates, Nikobez, Unakulajaba, the whole day, na una form, yoni nini. Yes, boy child na patriarchy hapo. People need to understand that iki toto itaga patriarchy is not an advantage to a boy child. You see, kuna advantages and disadvantages. As a boy child, you are never given time by the society to think about you. Start anza sai umesoma umaliza shule si ndio mm. umeuliza shule you get a job society starts pressuring you to get married immediately because you are a failure if you're not getting married si ndio the moment you get married whom are you thinking about now is it you your are wife. you thinking about your wife and your children and you will think about them until our to your age age umetoka kwako maybe wako 24 22 university si ndio uko are you are you about child anymore at that moment maybe you're okay 25 it's 25 years later, you are 50 years old. Okay? Will you start thinking about you at the age of 50? Mm -hmm. You can't. Life has gone. Life is not But in, life is not in 50 years. <laughs> you have been, you, you, every day you are given something for you to be successful, you must have a car. You see, Hasa, you won't think about enjoying your success. Let me get this car first. Or oh, get a wife, get children, take them to school, or abroad. No point. I need to first of all figure out who I am and enjoy me. That is something that needs also to be told to the boy child. As you do all these things, remember who you are. Get time to be you and it is okay to enjoy you, but responsibly. Mm. That is one key factor that people need to appreciate first of all as a boy child. But here it is a tool against the boy child. Una get? You could DNG MSM could disrupt a mentality of what yes, we need to do it and we are doing it and we will keep doing it until people understand what we are talking about. You see? We are not saying to favor the boy child over the girl child. We're just saying, for example, to being the devil's advocate again in this one, Kunakazi predominant before or a while back, there are jobs that were predominantly set out for men. Kama kazi ya mjengo, kazi ya umakanga, udereva, unageta time, ata maingenia wengi, there used to be men. You get, but that one has been broken down now. It is okay ukingia kuma tatu ulipisho na a girl child. You will be, it's a, upate udereva, kuna hata circles na adika madem peke as drivers. You get, so vitu zili kuwa predominantly kept for men, size ziko open. But kuna vitu, na siyo, for example, being a house help. Excuse me, to house managers. 
Ni mara ngapi umeona kwa news a boy child ana embarasiwa he had to pretend to be a girl ndo andike kwa nyumba ya mtu kama mbochi kama housel you seen it severely it happens then that is the problem also if a boy child is okay with being a house help he needs to be let to be that kama ana feel mimi naweza ku house help kwa nyumba let the boy child be let him go do that job he does not have to pretend to be a lady to be given the job you see those are the things that we need to break down and the, the reason as to why we need to break them it goes back to emotions it goes back to where we've hardened a boy child and telling him to ignore his emotions so when you appear to be doing some jobs you appear to be an emotional being and th that appears to be something bad you see you must first of all tell that boy child that being emotional is okay and dealing with your emotions is also okay that way we solve two problems ya kufanya hizo kazi na number two we solve depression na stress iko na boy child around side mm. yeah, on the flip side your argument umesema for the for the for the for the, for the males yeah. akisha afrika theft anasema ah ni sawa you know life is over but on the other side a, a male who is 50 can easily remarry a female who is 50 uh -huh. may not find out you know you know when you remarry what have you lost and, you, and you know that thing the other day you said and i and i did not respond to it i think that say man it is it. easy for a man don't even say it was said it was said it was said by cj i said it because it is okay for a, it is easy for a man to remarry it is. but when you are remarrying what have you lost you have lost everything but your wife but has you gone can. with your children you have lost everything now you're going you to start a fresh the option is available Yo, but for the wife female, does not need to remarry she already wife. has your children she's going you with see, your children what do you see she's she going has, with your children she's going with your children that alone where she has me you my children <laughs> you see my children and see <laughs> i've made your point by the way i don't want to shut up shut you up. see that point that to kiacha na dem anaenda na watu wangu Shut I up. will remarry because I need children. No, but you but can the get children custody are still of the children. Oh, that custody is ata unajua before that child gets to 18 years, my friend, Willis, that that of ever the, the lady. You see the whole argument <laughs> is already skewed. <laughs> this whole argument is already skewed. Uh, children never take the place of a spouse. Yeah. Mm. So to say they've gone with the children, children are not the spouse. And Even if you remain married, these mm -hmm. children will grow and go. Okay. So these children are not ne, can, really part of the no, can the spouse take the space of the children. <laughs> If so, I go marry another girl, will she take my children's space? No, but you of see course, you but marry. You when you marry, days, people well, are losing. Both of us are losing. I am losing. Okay, okay. She's losing. So, <laughs> Rastaman is peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> But you see you see this is where again people mix up all these issues. Right. Children will come and they will go. You know I'm looking at I'm looking at my kids right now. These guys are about to leave. Mm -hmm. Eventually you remain with your spouse. Your spouse can never take the place of the children. Your children can never take the place of the spouse. Uh when we talk about the issue of remarrying. Now you talked about somebody living for themselves. They do that for them not for their children or something they do that for them that's that's the part of somebody knowing i need to have a mate i need to have somebody who loves me some people have to make very difficult decisions uh to remarry even after they've lost a spouse and uh the challenge is whether the children will feel you betrayed their mother probably she passed and you have to have a conversation with them and tell them look i loved your mother but then i've got to leave life it's a whole different discussion that thing uh, of the remarrying but i wanted to just say one thing just yes. one thing yes. uh men need to look at responsibility as something that is joyful it shouldn't be looked at as a burden that society has put on you you can live for yourself and still raise children and support other people if you have money willis and money has no purpose it loses value if you have so much money in your pocket now mm. but you can't buy anything that money is valueless so the fact that you can help somebody you can employ somebody that you can support somebody you can educate somebody don't look at it as a burden uh it doesn't rob you from life what robs you of life is lack of purpose if you find your purpose you can still live for you while taking care of other people but purpose is not paying bills 
No, 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 no. If you find a bumper, no, I'm asking. You can maybe. Thank you. No, you see, that's what I said. That you can still leave your purpose and take care of responsibilities. Okay. 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 You see, uh, taking yeah. care of responsibilities does not rob because your Because you see, I, most of the time, you come into this world, you struggle, you hustle, you whatever. That purpose is not very easy to find at a more. We should talk about purpose one day. It's that. not very easy because the nature of the struggle, and for both gender, you find yourself always in a rat race. You know, it's always meeting a bill, it's always paying this. Before you focus on, I was brought into this world to entertain people. Hey, you're 50. Yeah, like the way. Like you're 80, and you need job life. Yeah. <laughs> your, 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 your purpose is very critical, but when the fuck we discover, yeah. you get not other people to discover it for you. And you I feel like it should be very intentional. Yes. Mm. It's That's what we're going to yeah. talk about next week. Unfortunately, we're out of time. <laughs> uh, we'll, look for, we'll, uh, we'll discuss with Sheshi to when come to Noyaza Ongelea next week. DNG, do you want to have a final comment? Because we went to to Patia Sam Girene Apo Awali, Mamma being the man we needed to be. So, what's your final comment? Yeah, so final comment has to do with unity. And I feel like as as, as young guys in, in in today's generation, we have to come together and and be each other's anchors. You know, support system. You see that amongst women all the time. Mm. But you know, when it comes to the guys, how united are we? Do we support each other? You know, when you look at it from a business perspective, Charlie wana peananga tu wongo kipindi eh mazee na kusina kuja eh utakuhusisha kesho usame zima simu as a businessman and after this more than 12 years man and as an entertainer for more than 16 majority of the people who have put me in a position to win are women mm. these empowered women who we are complaining about are actually the ones who throw lifelines to men Mm. When I look at all my mega deals that have cooled in this industry, you know, in this Biashara, supplies, Nini, it's a woman who sat there and believed that what I went to pitch in that boardroom, I can deliver. And she said, yes, Shika ELPO, do for me this event, do for me this campaign. Machali, you do a job, they don't pay you, but they run away. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and we tired of demand letters and, and lawyers. It's, it's shameful that that is where we, we, we have come to be today. But we have to change that. We have to be each other's brothers, you know, brothers keepers. So, so let's improve on that as an improvement point, and we can do it. And let these other women continue rising and supporting men. All right. <laughs> we're going to end there today. Uh, <laughs> time we may end. Sana. But, you know, like we like to say, the purpose of this discussion is to help you to have the discussions. Well, once you go off air, continue the discussions in your living rooms, continue the discussions at your workplace, continue the discussions online. And because these discussions will, one, they'll expose the fakes, and they'll expose areas that need to be fixed, and then they'll also serve people some truth. So keep on having the discussions. But I like what DNG said earlier on, that uh, as much as we are disadvantaged, and there's all these things for the boy child. Let us try to be the men that we needed to see. That's what he said, yeah? yeah. And the men that we needed, to, uh, that we, as growing up, we needed to see them. You might be in a bad situation today, but it's not the end of the world. I call it, say, every problem has an expiry date, but you have to decide. The first thing you need to do to make a change is decide to change. And then from there, let's have the unity and move forward. To kifanya ivo, tutakwambele sana, ata patriarchy, itazidi uko kwa matululu na kwa fofofo. But other than that, remember successful people look like you and the great, ah, Devi ya kwa uko juu. Si semi, you know my common phrase, you know me, peace and love. <laughs>